Okay, this is just a little test I wanted to do to uh, make sure things are up to satisfaction, just to make sure all the sound sorted out, all the video quality, how it converts to YouTube. So, let's do this. Um, really quickly, I'm going to be playing a game I, I played a long time ago when I was a kid. Genesis was my first console, so yeah, I had a lot of fun with my Genesis. This is a game I had. Man, I forgot it for a long time, but I, I ran across it. I'm like, holy crap. It's, uh, and, um, yeah, really blagging sound there. That's not how it usually sounds. Alright, let's see if maybe it gets smoothed out while playing, or if it's responding. I'm hitting buttons, but it is doing nothing. One flyer, okay. There we go. Now you got Archie, Lorenzo, and Reese, which is who I always play as. I don't know why, I just like Stegosaurus. And there's all this pointless information. Uh, 7 foot 2, 1500 pounds, 26 quadruple E plus. Yeah. Not, not particularly much of a point to it, but eh, I guess it's alright. Anyway, let's get going. And here we go. Oh. This is why I test the sound. It's a sound run, what the hell? It's like it's trying to play itself two times at the same time. trying to add it apparently and false credits yeah that's one way to start out the game <laughs> yeah yeah good luck you'll need it that's never a good sign you know that's never a good sign the real game starts here. Good luck, you'll need it. <sighs> okay. First level's not too bad. It's kind of like Contra, just run and shoot. Try not to die. And that's pretty much all there is to it now. This. That's basically just it. Run and try not to die. But pretty much never let go of the trigger. Unless you need to do a little tail slap like that to get rid of pesky enemies that are too close to shoot. That guy can just screw off. I'm gonna mess with him. Ah, damn it! Are you kidding me? Oh my god, really? <laughs> yeah. Not really, this first level ain't too bad. I've. Uh, I only played a little bit for like a little warm up. Before this this first level, I, I got it down pretty good. The first couple times you died, it's kind of hard, but. If you know what you're doing, it's not too bad. Ah, okay. And. For some reason, I just completely messed up there. Uh, yeah. It's a little bit less noticeable with the constant sound of the gun, but the sound is still kind of uh, sketchy. Hopefully, I can get that figured out, but uh, it's real late at night, so I'm just gonna upload this anyway. 
But of course, by the time we see this, it'll already be uploaded, so I don't even know why I'm saying that. Okay. Anyway, I'll just use this video and test the uh, conversion on YouTube. And so yeah, I, I gotta get this sound sorted out, but man, it's, fr it's freaking like 5 o'clock in the morning. And I'm pretty damn tired. So, I'm not gonna get the sound out of that tonight. Here's the first boss, I guess. Uh, here's something kind of annoying. Every time you jump, you go slightly forward. And I just pretty much target that little turret thing, smack a few of these enemies now and then. Oh, unless they, like, stun lock you like that, you bastards. And, not a very hard first boss. And you proceed down to the second level. Yeah, this is where it gets a bit trickier. It, it definitely gets trickier this level. Now, luckily, I got some power ups to make it a bit easier, but yeah, you can't jump on those. I was freaking skateboarders. And you got those annoying little cars. Roaches, skateboarders that for some reason throw molotovs at you. I don't even know why, what they have against you, why there are roaches attacking you. I don't freaking know. All I know is it's freaking crazy. You have health, which is always welcome, and you will probably need to get through this level. But pretty much running, same strategy. Run and shoot and try not to die. Now, this is where I can get annoying. This Freaking cars there. Luckily, those cars have really bad protection or something. Get away! Ugh. Power up. Now. Okay. We might make it through this level. We are. We seem to be doing all right. And until then, freaking electricity. And I guess I can just stomp on cars. And actually, they give you a good amount of health, so it's... Yeah, this level ain't that bad, actually. <sighs> Move forward and shoot the hell out of everything. Like, I need to keep saying it. I don't even know why I keep saying it. I guess I'm just tired and can't think of much to say. Anyway, we'll take Grease's Stegosaurus. As a way. And an extra life, always nice. Now, if you were happen to be up on this level, you might think, oh, where the hell do I go? But you just do that. That's pretty much all. Uh, now this, this is the part where I start to fail. Well, rock out a little bit for a little encouragement. Anyway. Let's get to it. This is where it gets hard, because there's so many things trying to kill you. Nothing wants you to live. Ugh. If you don't know where everything is, there's gonna be a lot of stuff shooting you from off-screen, so that's always quite annoying, and it's popping up out of nowhere, stupid cars, and... Ah! This is where I fail. Oh my god, this, I hate the cars. Urgh. Turrets, freaking just everything. And I'm about to die. Like one more shot and I'm dead yet. Yeah, uh, heart attack. Yeah! Well, this is actually a pretty good stopping point. There's really not much left for time anyway. It's a good length. Good little test to see how it goes on YouTube and. I guess get the sound issues sorted out so that it's not like sketchy. I don't know if it's something with my emulator or what. We'll get it sorted out and get things going. Once I uh, figure everything out and get things going, I will start a uh, my first official let's play uh, or whatever the hell you want to call it of uh, Castlevania Bloodlines for the Genesis. Uh, one of my, again, one of my favorite games going up. I friggin' love it. Awesome game. And I really like the soundtrack in it. I think the soundtrack is friggin' awesome. Really good music in the game. So yeah. That's it. Peace out.